Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It's gonna be a few days in New York. We're packing and we're unpacking. I got back from Cabo two nights ago and now I'm packing for another trip. I'm going to Mexico again actually, going to Cancun with Ben. Couples trip. This is like my first real like couples trip I think. Well, we went to like Disney and we've done like you know, skiing, whatever. I'm excited about it nonetheless. So I really just took out the stuff that I didn't need and threw stuff back in there, but we still have a few days before that trip. Put on some light makeup. My skin actually underneath this all is breaking out for some reason. Um, I got my makeup professionally done yesterday by Kat because yesterday I went to Ben's med school gala. Pictures are on Instagram, go check them out. Show me some love if you can. I loved my outfit, I just felt so good whenever I had Kat do my makeup, so I felt really good. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I feel like it's more so like the traveling, but my skin is freaking out under here, so that's fun. But we are going to record the podcast now. I have been so all over the place. I like haven't been home because I went to Ben's in Brooklyn and then I've just been like really all over the place yesterday. I like didn't even have a real day because it was really just getting ready for the night and then the night happened. Not that I'm complaining at all, but things from GoPuff. Oh, they said, this was my first order, I guess, through GoPuff. I've always ordered through, like, Uber Eats. GoPuff on Uber Eats. So they sent me a hat. That's cool. Give that to someone. I wanted to get almond milk, but they didn't have any, so I got oat milk. I wanted to be able to make coffee. So random. I got pickles, <laughs> seaweed snacks. I got bread, and I got avocados. On a big avocado kick since Mexico, because all of the, like, guacamole, avocado-based things that we had there were so fresh and delicious. So now I'm on a big avocado kick. I'm gonna make my coffee drink, even though it's 2 p.m. I didn't have a coffee yet today and I'm really feeling it. I'm hungover, I'm really hurting. One of those days, but we will make it through. Actually, I'm gonna leave these avocados out on the counter. So sorry, I just did not really vlog this afternoon, but we're going to Soul Cycle class now. I haven't been in like a week or so. Eh, I don't know. So we're gonna go do that right now. So it's like now it's so packed in the back after class and everyone's like taking off their clothes and you know, you know like putting on their jackets whatever and my locker was like back to back with another girl's locker and i didn't say anything because like our lockers were so close and i was just squeezing in grabbing my stuff barely my jacket fell out of it swung open hit the locker and it hit her in the face and now i'm gonna think about that for weeks i obviously said i'm sorry like 20 times because you guys know me and I should have just said, excuse me, I'm behind you, but I was just trying to be nice and be like, no, I'm not going to get your way. I hate myself. Got my salad. My AirPods are dead, so this is going to be a lonesome walk home with my thoughts. Love that. Good morning from my bed. We were looking rough, like, tired and whatever. I really didn't want to work out this morning, but I'm going to just in an hour. I have my dryer going if you hear that. I slept really, really poorly. I don't really know why, but I did. Happens sometimes. But something I did do is I started reading a new book. Um, I'm so freaking happy about this. I got sent the new Ellen Hildebrand book, which doesn't come out until June. If you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of Ellen. I've read so many of her books and they always get me out of a reading slump and I've just been in a reading slump. I don't know why I haven't been able to finish a book in a while. And that's like very unlike me. So I was like, you know, no, we're new need to supercharge. And like, I just need to read a good book and get back on the train. So this is what I'm reading. It doesn't come out, like I said, till June. Uh, but it is, I really like it so far. It's about this woman, Hollis, who is, a, she's like a mom and she is a food blogger. And she's basically hosting this thing called the Five Star Weekend with a bunch of friends in, from various points of her life. And of course it's on Nantucket. And I'm literally planning my next trip to Nantucket as I speak for the end of the summer. But I'm so excited. Nantucket was like so much fun. If you didn't watch the vlogs from that last year, so fun. Reading a little bit of this, I just wanted a slower start this morning because we have a really busy day ahead. And I'm really excited about it. So this is like my moment of me time and then we'll work out. That's also me time. Then I'm getting lunch with my manager who happens to be in town. Then Danielle and I have a meeting with a brand. And then Danielle and I are going to a event with Rare Beauty, where we get to meet Selena Gomez. Like, what the heck is today? I can't even believe I'm saying that. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. When I got the invitation, I was like, this can't be real. And it is real. And I even got a time that I'm like confirmed, like at the event. I knew Selena would be there, but then I got another email that was like, we want to make sure everyone has time to meet Selena at the event. So like your time is blank. I was like, shut 
up. I'm so excited. Not only do I love Rare Beauty and the products, but I love her. So I'm freaking pumped about this. So that's what's on deck the rest of the day. We're gonna keep reading. I think I'm like 100 pages in. Yeah, it's really good so far. It's very like typical if you've read other of her books. It's like kind of like almost all of them tied together in one at least so far. I wonder what the twist is gonna be though because there's always really good twists. Also another announcement from bed. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I feel like I've been really, I don't wanna say popping off, but I've been posting some really good photos there. I go through phases with pretty much every app, except for YouTube, because I feel like I'm consistent and podcasting, you know, we're consistent. I'm in an Instagram phase right now where I'm like just posting a lot of photos and whatever and really feeling myself. So that's really nice. It's nice to feel confident. So so go follow me on there. I just posted the last of like my Cabo photos. I wasn't gonna post them, but I was going, you know, when you take photos and then you look back at them a few days later and you're like, wait, I actually like these. I wish I appreciated them more in the moment. That's how I feel, so. And I feel like with my next Mexico trip, I'm literally going to Mexico in two days again. My Instagram is gonna be really good, so she's really good. Let's go work out, and then when I come back, I kind of need to quickly change and get ready, but it'll be good. Not really in the mood to work out, but I know I'm gonna feel so good after, and since I'm going away in a few days, I just wanted to get in some workout so that, I don't know, I feel good on my trip. It's a mental thing. Filming something. I have about an hour to get ready for the rest of the day and into the night, honestly. All right, as per usual, I'm rushing, um, but I'll quickly show you guys my outfit, even though the coat is like covering it. It's like a gorgeous day, it's like 50 degrees, so I don't even really need too much of a coat. The trench is from J. Crew. I'm wearing an Aritzia dress, the one that I have in brown, but I got it in black too. You'll see it in a little bit. And then I'm just wearing black boots. I do need to put on some sort of like lotion or something. I will show you the outfit really quick. This is what the whole thing looks like. It's hard to train, like I have meetings during the day and then I have an event at night. It's tricky. We're in Nomad. It's called Lunch at Bondi Sushi with my manager. And now we're walking around meeting. Let's go. All right, hello. We are now in the car. Danielle's posting her Instagram. Sorry. No, being you're being, no, you're being great. We're, we have to get all of the content posting in right now. So we're going, <sighs> we're just on the go gals. We had a meeting before. Good meeting. Good meeting. Big things. Big things coming. <laughs> and now we're going to meet her. So I will keep you guys updated. I think I'm going to ask Danielle to like vlog for me on my phone. Yeah. While we take photos and then like we'll vice versa. Yeah. We'll see. Technically you your time's go first. Yeah. Go in I know. Watch in full. There's got to be other people that want to do that. Yeah, I hope. We'll see. This is the lip oil we get at the end. Oh my goodness. This is trippy. amazing thanks danielle for the video um oh, we got a video of me course. talking to her that was amazing iconic stunning beautiful and now we get to try the lip oils I, do you think we get all these colors yes yeah. yeah it's heavy this is this is a, i'm like really want to open it me too i'm open wearing the gloss the right now but i'll put on the, the lip oils i want to make a tiktok about it. all of the tiktokers were there i'm opening it just for your vlog oh, oh we have the Jack big box. winnings i haven't been this excited for a second Um, holy crap, you guys. This is one of those days where I like get home and I'm like, am I living in a simulation? Like, is this even my life? She is simply the most calm, cool, collected woman. So like mature. It was definitely like chaotic in the sense that like we were all waiting to get our photos, but the Rare Beauty team did an amazing job with the event. More or less just like, you know, everyone was like waiting their turn. So I feel like everyone was like getting ever, like each other, like nervous for like, oh, we're about to go. But she was so like calming and cool and just amazing. Everyone was commenting that she looks shorter than they thought, but I was also in heels and she had, I think she took off her heels for the photos, at least that I got. But I'm a long time fan of 
the Rare Beauty products. So I just feel so honored to have been invited. And it was a really, really fabulous event, truly. And we all went home with a box of the new Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oils. Ooh, boy, am I excited about these because I love the Rare Beauty gloss. So I can't even imagine what these are gonna be like. I think that they're in the same shades as like the blushes, which makes it kind of easy. Like I know I like the shade Joy and the shade Hope. Let's try it. Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil. Inspired by the best-selling Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. Gel to oil formula. Selena Gomez wears shade Happy. I'm gonna try the shade that she likes. Also, she looked so gorgeous. Her hair was amazing, just stunning. She looks incredible. So here you go. There was paparazzi waiting outside too. So crazy. Danielle took a little clip of that for her vlog. Ooh, ooh, I love it. Gotta see obviously how it's gonna wear. I was concerned that they would be a little matte just based on this packaging and I didn't want matte. I, I, I'm not, not huge on the matte lips. I like a little bit of like a glossy look. Oh my God, I think it's gorgeous. And I like that it's still, it's not glossy like my hair would get caught in it. It's like a light bomb almost. Like I wonder if it's transferring a little bit. Oh my God, I just think it's so pretty. I hope that it wears well because if it does, this is gonna be a new go-to. And I hope it's like somewhat long lasting because that would be really cool too. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. I just feel so honored to be included and in such a cool day. It's already like nine o'clock. Oh my God, is it already 9.30? Holy shit. I'm gonna be up late tonight. It's gonna be one of those nights because it's, Tomorrow night, I'm gonna sleep at Ben's because we leave, like the flight is really early the day after that. So tonight is gonna be my, like my late night, finishing up packing and like getting everything done that I need to get done here. Late night ahead. That's okay though. Sometimes like you just gotta pull a late night because you're like setting yourself up for future success, you know? At least that's what I tell myself. I have a little bit of energy now, so I'm like amped up from the previous events. I also think I wanted to self tan. I need to like make a list. Let's make a list. So tonight's list, self tan. I have somewhat of like a sun rash going on in my legs right now, which is not great. So I'm gonna have to be gentle because I don't know, they're like red and bumpy. This happens to me when I am in the sun and like the heat. I used mineral sunscreen and it happened again. So I'm like, I thought that it was the sunscreen. Speaking of which, I need to make a list of what I need to like buy from Dwayne Reed tomorrow and mineral sunscreen is going on there. I just got it for my last trip, but I went through the whole bottle. I like shared it with people too though. That's for my shopping list for tomorrow. I have to like unbox packages. So I can do that a little bit with you guys. And like, just like generally like tidy up laundry because I want to make sure that I have like clean workout outfits and stuff. Oh, I have an exciting day tomorrow. Really just getting stuff done before the trip. That's really the plan of attack. All right, I'll show you what I unpackaged, unboxed so far. All right, we got a lot of liquid IV. They are about to sponsor Gals on the Go again, which is huge for the program. We love that. Um, I asked for some new flavors that I haven't tried yet. I'm excited about. And they have so many different kinds. Like this one has like immune support. Oh, this one sounds, oh, it's a kombucha one. I was gonna say tart green apple. That sounds good. You guys know I always go for green apple flavor. Wow, and I'm just, I guess in my makeup, I don't wanna say era, but <laughs> I'm getting a lot of makeup sent to me. We got some Afterglow Sensual Shine lipsticks. The NARS PR list is a good one to be on. They have amazing products. Swipe on, shine on. More lip products, yay. I'm collecting a lot of this stuff. We're gonna do future giveaways and things, so stay tuned. Because obviously, how could a girl like me use all these lip products? Like, you know, there's, there's only so many days in the week. I can't, I can't use it all. Packaging on this, it feels like uh, a lot. This is MAC Cosmetics, high performance skincare. So I guess they came out with some skincare. Cleansing oil. Oh, these are good. Okay, I'm, I'm into this sort of stuff. I was like, I, I don't need more like skincare, but like, I but you could always use removal, right? Skin Canvas Balm Moisturizing Cream. I guess that is skincare, but you know. What is this? Uh, 24 Hour Shine Control Primer. Oh, cool. Oh, and then just MAC Fix Plus. This is like one of my mom's favorite products. This is such an OG. I remember like we use our MAC powder every day, of course, literally in my purse behind me. The Adina product. The comments on my posts are multiplying of like, oh my God, you look like your mom. I thought this was your mom. You're, you have the same mannerisms. I'm not even trying, just so we're clear. I'm actually almost going out of my way to like dress different than I feel like she dresses and stuff, but we're just morphing into the same person. It's kind of scary. She loves Mac Fix Plus, so I'm gonna save this for her. I think I'm gonna see her for maybe Easter next week and then for my birthday the week after. My birthday's coming up so soon. I can't believe it. And then on the top here, this. This is like so nice. Hydrating serum, cool. I always make sure that everything goes to a good home, by the way, if, and if not, I save it and we'll like stockpile for away okay and then over here a little bit different some items that i purchased for my trip i just got two clothing items and a pair of shoes because i really think that I've, i'm gonna go through all that next it's the next phase of the night but i got just another little like maxi sort of cutout dress i really got a not that i let like the internet dictate like what i wear and stuff 
But when I notice an overwhelming majority of comments are positive about something I wear, I'm like, okay, I guess it looks good. You know, like my thoughts are kind of like confirmed. It's like when you get more compliments on something than normal and you're like, oh, so this is like a good look for me. Also, this is like turning into a stain and I love it. So you know when that happens. So anyways, so I was getting a lot of positive comments on this like cutout dress that I wore. I actually borrowed it from Katie. You have to go to my Instagram to see it. Um, so now I'm like, all right, I guess I should wear more dresses with cutouts. Like, I guess that's going to be a look for me and show more cleavage because you know what? I'm young and I'm hot and I should. We love our square necklines, but sometimes we can spice it up. So hopefully this fits. This is from L Space. It's like a little, I don't want to say maxi, but maybe like maxi midi and like the, there's a little stomach cut out. The boobs are kind of like crisscrossy. Then there's a slit. I love a leg slit too. That's really pretty. Hopefully it works. I got a black bikini top because I have plenty of black bikini bottoms, but no top that really fits me that well. And I really wanted a triangle top. This looks small upon looking at it. Oh, I don't think this is gonna work, but it was worth a shot. I like wanna be okay with bathing suits being a little small on me because I feel like that's also like a look right now is like to be, especially if you have a bigger chest, like wear a bathing suit that like obviously covers, but like, you know, cause then you could like kind of hike it up and make it look good. For me, I, you know, I like to have, I like to have a good amount of coverage. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll try this on. This is from L Space, so is the, dress and then i really am hoping these work i just realized i have no like vacation shoes i know that this is like a, such a first world problem but a lot of my shoes are like just basic white heels i have plenty of pairs of nice heels let me be clear but they're like not necessarily like a wear with a maxi dress on vacation type of energy so i got these also because i thought that they'd be comfortable to walk in i like the heel height and i think they have like a nice strap on the back so i can be supported so I hope these work. We'll try them on now. Not that I even like know that much about the style or whatever, but these wouldn't be normally my first choice, but I thought that they would be good because they looked supportive and the heel wasn't like out of this world. And the last thing I need to do is to like wipe out and eat shit in Mexico or on any sort of vacation because, you know, I feel like normally, you know, you're walking to dinner, like the ground's a little unstable. I was thinking ahead. I was being smart. Kind of a weird shot, but I think they work. I think I'll have to go a little bit tighter on the buckle. I will take one for the team and expose my body. Not really, but you guys know I don't really do like bathing suit stuff a lot. This is just how all triangle tops fit me, I feel like, and it's like bursting out of the seams. But I do actually like this one. I don't feel like I'm like gonna like necessarily like pop out. I don't know, like I feel like I guess I could have gone up one more size, but then I feel like the band would have been too big. But I have these black bottoms from Monday Swimwear, but I couldn't find a top to go with it. It's Actually, this is like a ripped material and this isn't, but you know, I just wanted a good black basic like bikini and I, I'm pretty happy with this. So yeah, the top is from L Space. Do you guys know any good like triangle style brands that cater to larger chest? Let me know. I'm gonna try this new thing where I actually try on all of my outfits before they go in my suitcase, even though I kind of hate it. The process of it's annoying, but like I know I'm gonna thank myself. Like I will try on every outfit. So this is from Tiger Mist. I can't decide if I'm gonna pack this one or not. It's not at the top of my list. I think it could be pretty for like something else maybe in the summer. It's just like a nice like white knit basic. It's actually kind of cooler in Mexico at night. Um, in Cabo, I was like kind of chilly and I didn't bring a jacket. But then I remembered that I have this that I haven't worn yet from J. Crew, and it's just like a cashmere travel wrap is what it's advertised as. So instead of bringing a jacket, I'm just going to bring this because I could just throw this in my bag and like bring it to dinner with me and, you know, wrap her around and stay warm. And it like kind of goes with some outfits. I'm not gonna pack this one, but I just have the heels on that I'm probably gonna wear with a lot of my outfits. <laughs> so I'm like, let me try on all the dresses now. These shoes are the moment. Sorry, I feel weird showing my feet online sometimes, but they're also from Steve Madden and they're great. Danielle had them and I was influenced directly. Let's try on some more stuff. Okay, at this point the apartment is just a mess with packing stuff everywhere, <sighs> but I'm good. I'm, we're gonna try, like I said, we're trying everything on. So I ordered a bunch of cute fits from Tiger Mist and really only the white one that I just showed you and this one fit. But I do really like this. I think I need to self tan so it will look a little bit better. And it's so different than what I would normally wear. It's like a cute little tie up top and then this little skirt. There's a good amount of skin showing on the side so very sexy. And then just the heels. Like I feel like this will be cute for one night. Tiger Mist has really cute like stuff like this. I guess I never really thought about the way that I dressed in terms of like like how much I show. But that's the type of thing I'm saying, like, when I show more skin on Instagram, you guys are like, oh my god, do this more often. So I'm like, all right, I guess I should. I feel like with having big boobs, I know I talk about this in every freaking video, like having big boobs in some way. But I feel like with having big boobs, it automatically, like, sexualizes 
really anything I wear. You know, I wear a tank top and suddenly it's like, oh, your boobs are out. So I've almost like conditioned myself, not even that society's conditioned I me, mean, like I feel like I've conditioned myself to dress in a way that like hides them or makes them look like more minimal. And with that, I guess comes just like more conservative cuts of stuff. Like, I don't know, just like maxi dresses that go to the floor and stuff. And I'm like, I guess it could be like a lower cut or like, you know, have some cutouts and fun. If it's fitting, you know, not everything. But I think, I, I do think that with some stuff like this, this is a cute little set, right? I think the girls look good. It's good. This dress is everything. Oh my God. It was so kindly gifted by free people. This is definitely, I need five dinner fits at least. And I definitely want to bring like a backup of some sort, but this is a definite. So it's the last one. It is so gorgeous. It's like white feather halter, but then the back is like all open. Oh my God. I think it's like perfect. It's sexy. It's getting sexy. I really like the texture on this. This set, the fit's a little off. Like I wish that the skirt was like a little bit tighter and like whatever, but I think cause it's so cute, it'll be fine. And if anything, need more. This set is from House of CB and it's like a two piece set. This is a top and a skirt. I really like this cause I feel like it's a little, a little bit different than just like a normal pink set. And I like this material. It's like it's giving like vacation. It's kind of like, it almost looks like linen. Also, I got sent a lot of cool stuff for this trip. So I feel very lucky. It's from this company, Serpui is this bag. They sent me it. How freaking cute. Maybe not necessarily with the pink on the pink. Cause I guess I could do like a white bag with this. But this for something else, I thought this was adorable and fun. This sets house at CB, if I didn't say that. My camera's dying. Ah! Hi guys. I didn't really vlog at all today. Um, I, I actually didn't vlog at all. I did a panel with YouTube. I couldn't film that, but it was really cool. Basically it was like a bunch of employees of YouTube and they asked me a bunch of questions about like being a creator. So that was super fun. And just got some stuff done here. It's like four o'clock now and I have to head to Brooklyn. Ben's gonna help me film a brand deal that I need to film before we leave town. And I have everything packed up and I feel actually pretty prepared. I just got sent this gorgeous flower arrangement from OPI. How pretty, it's from Plant Shed though, which is a place in New York City that I love. They have like really cute flowers and like knickknacks and stuff, coffee too. So I'm going to put these by the door of my super because I don't want them to go to waste their like gorgeous flowers. I'll show you guys the packing. I think I did a good job. The one thing that I was just thinking is that I'm bringing myself tanning drops and I wanna put them in a bag before I put them in my bag because just in case there's a leak. I feel like I packed more efficiently than my last trip in the sense that like, I don't necessarily have extra things. I brought like one extra outfit for every occasion, like one extra pool outfit, one extra nighttime outfit, but besides that, not too much. So hopefully everything like fits and works. When I pack my, a lot of my process, my thought process is like, bring a lot of options because just in case you're not feeling the crop top, like, you know, but in this case, I didn't really have the room. This is one of the longest trips I've gone on in a minute, which is crazy because it's really just five nights. That's a lot. That's a long time to be like parked up at a resort for me at least. Tell me you're a stony clover girl. <sighs> really, these big pouches are my favorite because they fit so much stuff. So that's like toiletries and that one is makeup. I just decided that the stuff one is makeup. I guess I could have had it say makeup, but that's why it's like dirty. They're like washer safe. So I think I did a good job packing. I'm happy with this. Let's close it up and see how heavy it is. All right, let's close her up. I always carry on my like designer bags or really any designer items. That's something that my mom taught me. So I have uh, like, I'm bringing like a YSL bag. I really didn't bring like too, too many like crazy valuables. I have like, I think like two nice bags, but I have them in my like free people tote bag that I have as a carry on if it's a ton of stuff. This has laptop, books. Yeah, like the purse is in here. Just in case something happens and the luggage goes missing. I know I have my, my valuables, you know? I'm gonna end off the video here because I'm gonna go to bed and film all that stuff. And I will pick up the camera again probably next week. You guys can follow me on Instagram, TikTok to see other stuff that I'm cooking up this week. Um, while I'm on vacation, I think I'm gonna do mostly content on there, so. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.